calculation and possible implication in medicine. The nature of chelation. Chelation is a type of bonding of ions and molecules to metal ions. It involves the formation or presence of two or more separate coordinate bands between a polydentate, multiple banded ligand, and single central atom. Usually, these ligand or organic compounds are called chelants. Chelating agents are substances that can chemically bond with metal, minerals, or chemical toxin within the body. The chelating agent actually encircles a mineral or metal ion and carries it from the body via the urine and faces. Chelation is useful in application such as number one providing nutritional supplements two in chelation therapy to remove toxic metal from the body or three as contrast agent in magnetic resonance scanning MRI in manufacturing using homogeneous catalysis and in fertilizers. These figures show the ligand with and bonded with the ligand, ethylene diamine ligand, and the chelating to metal with two bonded, this one and this one. And in this figure, show the binding with methyl methyl with methyl amine with copper two molecules or methyl amine molecule bonded to copper ion while this picture show that the bonded of di diethylene diamine ligand. This affinity of binding of ethylene diamine ligand to copper is stronger than the affinity of binding of uh, amine methyl amine. Okay. Chelation in biochemistry and microbiology. Metal protein is a general term for protein that contain a metal ion cofactor. A large number of all proteins are part of this category. Such chelation agents include the porphyrin rings in hemoglobin that bind for porphyrin rings to metal iron to contain hemoglobin. Chelation in medical application, nutritional supplements. In 1960, scientists developed the concept of chelating a metal ion proper to feeding the element to the animal. They believe that they would create a natural compound, protecting the mineral from being complex with insoluble salts within the stomach, which would render the metal unavailable for absorption. Amino acid began. Effective metal binder were chosen as the prospective ligand, and research was conducted on the metal amino acid combination.
Evaluation of metal ion in biological system. Evaluation of metal ion in biological system refers to the incorporation of metallic ion into living organism and how it has changed over time. Metal ion have been associated with biological systems for billions of years, but only in last century have scientists begun to try a scale of their influence. The major trace elements like iron, magnesium, and zinc, and the minor elements such as copper, cobalt, nickel, molybdenum, and tungsten metal ion have become elegant with living organisms through the, the bio biochemical weathering and metabolic pathways involving the produce of the weathering. The associated complex have evolved over time. Heavy metal toxification and chelation therapy. Chelation therapy is the use of chelating agent to detoxify by a patient body from poisonous metal agents such as mercury, arsenic and lead by converting them to chemically inert form that can be exerted without further interaction with the body. Cleation using calcium disodium EDTA ethylene diamine tetraestic acid has been approved by the United Station Food and Drug Administration FADA, but only for serious causes of lead poisoning. It is not approved for treating heavy metal toxicity, although they ha can be beneficial in cases of serious lead poisoning use of Unapproved chelating agent is dangerous. Use of disodium, ethylene diamine tetraestic acid, irritate disodium instead of calcium disodium, ethylene diamine tetraestic acid has resulted in due to the hypocalcemia. Disodium EDTA is not approved by FDA for the Unused and all FDA approved chelation therapy produce require a prescription. Pharmaceuticals, chelate complexes of gadolinium are often used to contrast even in MRI scans. And chelate complex of gold is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Other medical application chelation is in the intestinal tract is a cause of numerous interactions between drugs and metal ions, also known as minerals in nutrition. As example, antibiotic drugs of tetracycline and urine families are chelates of iron, calcium and magnesium ions. Different types of chelation therapy available. Chelation with calcium disodium EDTA, chelation with magnesium EDTA in form of intravenous injection, oral EDTA in form of capsules for preventative purposes, EDTA substitutes. All cancer are caused by abnormalities in the genetic material of the transformed cells. These abnormalities are the effect of carcinogens brought about by tobacco, smoke, radiation, chemicals and other infection agents. Cancer symptoms are only divided in three groups. Number one, local symptoms, symptoms of metastasis of systemic symptoms. Local symptoms include lung, 
swollen tumor and pain ulcer shame. Symptoms of metastasis include a large lymph node. Symptoms of systemic symptoms include weight loss or appetite, fatty, etc. Chelation therapy can also treat other disorders such as diabetes, blood vessel disease, autism, Chelation therapy can treat cancer because heavy metal toxicity can contribute to cancer. These heavy metal help in the propagation of the free radicals and further suppress the immune system by using chelation therapy on cancer. The treatment will improve circulation, reduce displaced soft tissues. Classification, reduce free radical pathology and increase oxygen to cells, thus enhancing the chance of the body fatty cancer.